real estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampaga. How'd that sound? <laughs> that sounded pretty good. So how you doing, Jeff? <laughs> I'm doing great, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing awesome. It's been hot this week, though. It's been pretty Ooh. hot. Woo. <laughs> hate it. I mean, love it out here. But you know, no, the just... week prior, it was nice. Yeah. You know, it's been pretty mild, really, I guess, the last month or so, hasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But it's still hot. Yes, it's we hot. We need today. more and more rain. Yeah, another month or two will be good. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we've got a great guest with us in the house today. That's Jen Jenkins with Brokers Hub Realty. Welcome, Jen. How Jen. you doing? Hello. I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing awesome. Yeah. Can't you tell? <laughs> Yeah, I can. <laughs> if only they could see what I see. There you go. Well, they can right there. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, big shout out to Susan Cunningham, correct? Yes. yes. Getting Susan. you on the show. She's awesome, huh? She's probably one of the most amazing people I've ever met. She is. She, she is. is. She's Absolutely. a gem. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Hello, Susan. Yeah. Hopefully she's watching. Yeah, she's going to watch this one, right? Yeah, don't tell her because she might get you know all excited and... You know, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I guess. That's okay. I guess. All right. <laughs> so, Jen, why don't we start with you uh, telling the agents that are listening and watching how long you've been in real estate and what got you into the business? Ooh, okay. So, I have been in real estate since 2010. Great time to get in, right? Um, and what got me into it? I, I think it's because I thought I would love to show homes all day. <laughs> really? <laughs> kind of like HGTV uh, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I drank that Kool-Aid and then <laughs> soon realized that is not what real estate's about. <laughs> no? no? It's the other side, right? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So, um, but then once I got in, it's the people, right? So meeting the clients and the people that join your circle, that that definitely pushed me through. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, and you mentioned, too, that you, you have a lot of referral business, or that's pretty much your your entire business model, right? Just 100%. getting more referrals. Mm-hmm. So why don't you walk us through what that looks like? I mean, w- what types of things you're doing to make sure that you stay in front of that that client or that past client and how you're asking for that business? Ooh, so funny that we talk about Susan, right? So my <laughs> big fear in life is asking for the business, uh, something I work on daily. But um, when I meet a client, I always say that, you know, they bring to us what we're trying to put out there in the world. So I, I've been very fortunate that I have amazing clients that that come to me. And it's about the relationship, right? So where we provide the value as a real estate agent is creating that, that relationship and letting them know that I have their back. And I think that creates a bond that goes beyond the, the home sale, right? And it's a continual every quarter. I send them something in the mail to just remind them that, hey, I'm still in real estate. Every November, uh, I have a big pie party the Saturday before Thanksgiving. My mother bakes all of the pies. She does them really? homemade. Yep, crust wow. as well. Yeah, I know. When we you don't first... just do the Costco thing, huh? No, <laughs> my clients are worth more than but that. But the pumpkin pie here is awesome. There, I, I'm sure Even it is. I, like I wouldn't know. Pie. My mom makes the pies. <laughs> That's great. Um, so you know, we started what with like 20 pies, and now we're up to almost 100 pies that she makes. Whoa. She has a system down for sure. And then we invite them over to my parents' house because it was always set up for entertaining. And we have a huge spread. My mom makes all the food. Um, we have a huge gathering. We have anywhere between 100 and 125 people come through every year. Wow. And it's just, it's an amazing time. And they look forward to it. So I think that's huge, right? They've gotten to know my family through it as well. And then every spring, I have a big donation drive that I do. So last year um, I did for the Andre house, we had a big sock drive and it's just consistently reaching out to my clients and just letting them know I'm there. I try to do lunches, dinners, you know, I invite them over for dinner to my house. Um, Really, it's just keeping myself in front because I have a pretty small database, but they are a mighty database for sure. Yeah. So how, like when you say a small database, what is that kind of range? 
like 250 people. Okay, no, that's, that's not great. Bad at all. That's mm-hmm. great. Well, you hear people have thousands, well, right? Yeah, but a lot of times they have 2,000 people that have like signed up for their email list. Sure. But maybe haven't talked to them in five years. Mm-hmm. So I with, have 250 solid people. Yeah. Like solid. Exactly. They it's kind of like Buffini says, your A's, your A pluses, mm-hmm. whatever, right? So you've mm-hmm. got kind of that. A's and B's, pretty much. Yeah. That's no, cool. that's great. I'm curious with the donation event, what do you typically do when you contact your your clients? So I thrive in the creative side of real estate. So like putting together flyers and postcards and all that stuff just sets me on fire. I love it. So um, I always do like a really cool postcard and then there's always an event that's involved. So it's me going around and picking everything up. I'll send them the bags so that they have the bags to put, like I said, this was a sock drive. Mm -hmm. Um, One of my clients, her daughter got involved and her whole school did the sock drive as well. So like then I went to the school and picked up the socks and um, just make it. I can see it already. Kids taking their socks off in the middle class. right my kid would do that um so it's just it's it's about again being in front of them but creating a space that gave them the the warm and fuzzies too right not only did it for me it did for them yeah but it's it's creating an event it's it's starting at one spot and every couple weeks just building up to that moment of i'm here to pick it up and then i send them pictures of me taking all the socks in and all of that got it that's awesome yeah so i'm assuming you um you make calls email mailers Text. like how often do you try to actually have a communication with your past cl- or your database i mean if not every quarter i would say i just kind of like round robin on a monthly basis to try to keep yeah. in contact with with people got it mm-hmm. i guess people don't get tired of like calls and stuff i guess huh i guess not because right? they're because it's more like a friendship more like a friend well yeah. my husband said i will never forget this because uh i was at a transaction early on in my career and he's like jojo he calls me jojo he's like you can't make everybody a best friend and i'm like why not <laughs> <laughs> but that's how i take it on yeah so well and the, the key is you don't need everybody mm-hmm. right if you True. just have the right people mm-hmm. absolutely which is what's causing your business I got to the right continue people. to grow right mm-hmm. um you know i'm curious about what types of pies yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. Okay, so we do five pies, okay. right? And there's always the staples. We always have pumpkin, we always have pecan, and we always have blueberry crumb. Then we add one that my mom maybe has learned a new recipe okay. or just by listening to people, right, at the pie party, because they'll be like, I wonder if they'll ever do an apple. Mm-hmm. So then one year we did an apple crumb. Um, so we just add okay. in there. Oatmeal, coconut was one one wow. year. We, we definitely What's the favorite? Blueberry crumb. Blueberry. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, More, see, pecan's my favorite. Pecan actually has made its way because my mom makes a killer pecan pie, and yeah. that, that finally got out. And then one year we finally decided, oh, we're going to actually put the pies out, like she made extra for them to try, and pecan then that next year was the winner. Yeah. But blueberry right. crumb seems to be the top one. See, I say pecan too. Some people say pecan. Oh, I say pecan. And I just think that sounds kind of funny. Yeah. Pecan pie? Pecan pie. I don't know. Well, tomato, tomato, <laughs> Jeff. Who knows? Different parts of the country, I guess, right? I guess. So, so with that uh-huh. event, though, um, uh-huh. do you, I'm sure you set it up, you send out your mailers and everything, but do people actually hang out there for a little bit, or do they just pick up the pie and run? Oh, gosh, no. So, I mean, if you ever met my father, you, he well, he'd die if you listen to this. He doesn't podcast. He doesn't listen to podcasts. But, um, <laughs> so, my mom is a huge, she loves to entertain, right? Okay. Like, that, it's in her blood. I, I this is the last like year we're doing. Dance? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, yep. So, this is the last year we're doing it at their house. Okay. And she's, she's very sad, because oh, I oh, finally no. became an adult and got a house that <laughs> I can entertain in, right? So, I was like, Mom, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing it at my house now. Um, but, they come, they will stay to the point where my dad starts like picking up, you know, like to give him the hint of, we need to wrap this up, people. It's, oh, it's been really? a long day. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. We send out invitations. I put RSVP cards in there so they can let me know which pie they want. Um, you know, the amount of food that we're gonna make. Cause it's not just like hors d'oeuvres, you know, like mm-hmm. one year my mom, she made homemade tacos. She made homemade enchiladas. We wow. had fajitas. Like, it's a spread. It's like dinner, right? And then you have all the wonderful drinks. And then she has a whole dessert buffet that she puts together. Hmm. Um, so they definitely stay around. Um, and it's even really cool is that 
you know, some of my clients are that age of my parents. So mm -hmm. they have become friends outside of the pot party where they go have dinners and, you know, they mingle. And it's just, again, it's going back to creating the relationship. Huh. Got it. Hey, Jeff, mm -hmm. um, I think the Saturday before Thanksgiving, we're going to be crashing a party. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Well, I can make my order already. Pecan. pecan. Yeah. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I'll well, take a pecan. <laughs> and I love people will actually call and be like, Jen, I sent you two referrals this year. Do I get two pies? No, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I've had that happen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, well, guess what? You send me five next year, five pies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, so, so we mentioned asking. So mm -hmm. do you actually, I mean, do you ever – ask for the business or let people know that I mean you're looking for I try to be creative in how I ask for it because like in my soul to say you know I, I follow Buffini right and his mm -hmm. is oh by the way yeah, oh, by the <laughs> right. and I'm like oh I just can't do it it won't come <laughs> out it's like I just get a block um, so I try to come up with more of kitschy sayings like when I send out my gifts every quarter you know, like I just sent out taco seasoning packets, right? And I said, mm. you know, looking for a seasoned real estate agent, remember, ah, I'm your girl. Right. So it's things like that. I, I've got to find a creative way to do it or I won't do it at all. Got it. All right. Yeah. I know. Not I'm one of those people. Treatment. There's probably a coach out there like pulling their hair out yeah, listening to this definitely, right now. Definitely, because, because they're probably thinking <sighs> if one of those 250 hasn't sent you a referral in the last two years, you need to be telling them. I'm sure. Right? Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So what's the um, what's the next uh, donation drive? Have you thought of? For the spring? So I have two things that I'm going between. Um, we did St. Mary's last Christmas through my brokerage. Mm -hmm. And when we were there, St. Mary said that their donations have just gone down by leaps and bounds. And oh, their worst really? time is after the holidays. So my thought process was, okay, I'm going to send out bags. I'm gonna get a coffee truck, we're gonna park it in the neighborhood and everybody can bring a bag of food and then they can have coffee and my mom's like, I'll make gingerbread loaves if you can't tell my mother's always involved. Um, she's a baker. She's a baker, yeah, yeah. So um, I think that's where we're gonna go for that one. My other thought was to do for like a children's crisis center, but I think St. Mary's is probably what we're gonna do this spring. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. well, that's sad. They're down on donations, huh? Oh my gosh! Like it—it it was crazy. Our brokerage was the the number one donation they got corporate, like corporation wise, mm -hmm. last year. And I'm going, ooh, we're not a huge brokerage, but wow, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned um, we we talked about Susan earlier. How how important is like her relationship to like helping? your business and come up with ideas and all that stuff. Oh my gosh. So if I can attribute, you know, my top five of people that have helped my real estate career, she's absolutely in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and maybe it's because I just love her as a human and we've connected outside of work, but like before I kind of think of any idea to actually put out there, I go to her first. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she'll either talk me off the ledge or um, be like, <laughs> so she'll, yeah, she tells yeah, it like it is, right? For sure. That's what yeah. I appreciate. I did it one year and she's like, ooh, yeah, you don't want to do that. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I won't do that then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we talked about um, value. I know you said you've been talking to her about that a little bit too, but um, any pointers you want to share with agents as far as how do we as agents show our value? I think we as agents are getting lost as to educating our clients on what exactly we do right mm -hmm. and especially in a market like we are in right now mm -hmm. it's hard to say like i do all of these things and they're like oh, yeah. yeah well i watch hgtv and it's like yeah well that's a 22 minute show yeah, right like right. i even like i said that's why i got into real estate um I think we need to show that we are not in a sales industry, right? Like that's a big point for me is everyone's like, you're just a salesman. And I'm like, I don't see myself as a salesman, right? Like anybody can get their license, go open a door. Mm -hmm. They want the house. I, I'm not telling them you need to come buy a house, right? Like they call me and they're like, Jen, so-and-so gave me your number. I want to buy a house. Like 
they came to me. Yeah. And I think what we're missing is showing them that we're really a, a service industry, right? At the yeah. end of the day, um, we're here to create a strategy to help them either get into their house or sell their house and even make a strategy at that point, right? Like it doesn't stop there. I think we have failed to to show people that, yep, you sold your house, you've made this money, at least in this market, you're making good money, right? Um, okay, what's the next step? Are we just buying another house? Do we need to talk about how we can help you build wealth? I mean, there, there's just so many things that I right. don't think people understand that we do. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I think that saying we do, right, as agents, um, I don't know. I might get tomatoes thrown at me here in a minute. But, <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're right. Anybody can go and get a license pretty much, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't think everybody – looks at it as an advisory type role, sure. right? Because I think a lot of people do just see the dollar signs, mm-hmm. unfortunately, mm-hmm. right? They see, oh my gosh, they can figure it up 3% pretty quick. Sure. Right? <laughs> um, so I, I guess the, the concern is, at what point are we going to see people get serious about that that role as a real estate professional, you know, and not just as somebody that's flinging houses around, right? Sure. I think our, our market probably dictates that a little bit, right? So, well, right now, yeah. Yeah, right now. Because somebody oh. can put it on the, the market and it's gone pretty sure. quick and, and they, they didn't have like to really ex- do much. They look sure. like experts. Sure, right. <laughs> or they but, feel like an expert. But even in this market, right? So you've got 30 offers being thrown at you. Well, the highest is not always your best offer, right? right. So, yeah. I mean, there's so many things that we should be walking our clients through that that I oh, I just feel like it gets lost out there. And it, I think it just makes me sad as a whole that they don't see the value in what, in what we do. Like, I feel like I'm on this mission to just show that there is value in what we do. You know, even my son at one point, he's 12, right? I was working one night and he came in and he's like, mom, do you ever stop? And it's just (laughs) like, oh, no, (laughs) right? There's just, you just keep doing it. And you just keep thinking about how am I gonna help this person beyond, again, beyond the house. Mm -hmm. I have people call me to this day, has nothing to do with the house, but just need to run something by me. Or do you know somebody that can help us in this situation. And I think that at its core is what yeah. we are as real estate agents. But you've done something in your business to make people want to reach out to you and ask questions, even if they're not totally just real estate questions. Sure. Right? Whereas some people may not take it that far. It's more mm-hmm. of a numbers, you know, churn and burn type thing, right? Yeah. They don't do the follow. Anyway, yeah. Maybe there needs to be better Follow-ups standards too, at. right? Better standards. For getting into the industry, I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, what there was one statistic, what was it? For somebody to be like a nail technician, they have like Oh yeah. What is it? 5 times the hours that we have and I'm going, "Oh yeah. my gosh." Yeah, different states are different, you know, hours, yeah. but yeah, it, you know, to do hair and nails and mm-hmm. all that, sometimes it's more mm-hmm. yeah, education than real estate. Or seeing new agents come in and they're so lost, like I remember that. When I first got in again, I had no idea. Like, I remember I went to pay my taxes and the guy's like, did you make quarterlies? And I'm like, for what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I made no money. It's my first year. Like, yeah. what What did I have to pay? Uh-huh. We, we're just not teaching these things, yeah. you know, because we're not right. teaching it as a business. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. It's a business. I read in, you know, there's lots of real estate groups on Facebook, right? Oh, yes. And I read a post somebody put out there about how, and this was a um, kind of a post about a new agent, mm-hmm. you know, that just got their license. This was the first buyer they were representing and this agent that posted it i won't say names or anything but it was a listing agent Mm -hmm. and the post basically said or essentially said that this buyer who was represented by this new agent offered it was tens of thousands higher than the other highest offer they had Mm -hmm. to get the house and that the buyer agent never even reached out to the listing agent to find out if they had offers on the house. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, that could cost a buyer lots, a lot. But and you almost, Not that they can tell them what it is, but they can sure. tell them whether or not they've had you offers. You almost can't fault the buyer. I mean, I guess I look at it, right, two different ways. I mean, that buyer's agent probably doesn't know any better, yeah. right? Yeah. We're not – we are not – grabbing these new agents and there should re- be a mentorship program there you go. at every brokerage I feel if not for the first year 
because you, you can't learn that in school. They're not teaching you that in school. They're not mm-hmm. saying you should physically call the person yeah. and ask them, what does your seller really want sure. and need? Yeah. yeah. So you know that you, your broker over at Brokers Hub Realty now is going to ask you to be a mentor. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That's I mean, that is my next step that I want to do. You know, you just got to figure out the ways yeah. to do it. Yeah. So wh- where do you see your business going, um, you know, the rest of this year going into the new year, I guess, right? So for me, I feel I am at that point point where I do want to start that team mentorship process that oh, okay. that's been on my on my heart for a while yeah that okay if I can make some little gens out there mm-hmm. you know what what can we do to, to make that happen yeah what does that look like what does that look yeah. like? Yeah, still in the beginning phase. I mean, still in the beginning okay. phase. So I, I, I mean, okay, again, the creative side, right? Like I already have my logo designed for that team, right? Because that's super important in my head. Um, but in my head, I'm all about women empowerment. So I would love to have an all female mm-hmm. team out there, and yeah. I want to call it Phoenix Home Girls Real Estate. All nice. right. So that's that's my plan. No homeboys, huh? No homeboys. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's I think funny. it's probably because I'm a female entrepreneur, no, totally. right? Totally I totally get it. I'm all about that. Do you have the URL already? No, oh, I need to get that, there. right? Yeah, yeah. Before, before, better do it. Before better before Jeff this does. is aired. <laughs> this is going to air and somebody's going to take it. Jeff is going to take it and sell it to you for a thousand. <laughs> He's done. on that now. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, but we will check after this is over okay, and see if it's even yeah, available. We should probably so that do you know. that. <laughs> um, oh, that's funny. So I know it's been a strange, what, 18 months? Oh, right. It yes. seems like 2020 was fast. Yeah. But it was slow. It but was it seemed slow, slow then. Mm-hmm. But it seems fast now. Mm-hmm. Like we're already halfway through, well, more than halfway through 2021. 2021. I know. <sighs> it's because the older we get, Jeff the faster time just flies you are correct yeah, yeah. yeah. and you are getting old you are yeah <laughs> wait I'm you're older than me <laughs> by a little bit just a little bit and i'm also better looking <laughs> so on to the next yeah. question i'm gonna let you guys hammer that out yeah I'm let you do that's that. why she doesn't want any homeboys <laughs> yeah there you go so when you do bring on somebody let's say you have your first person you're going to help mentor them mm-hmm. how would you make sure like what would be the first thing you would tell this person to do or advise this person to do to be able to build the referral business you have mm. So I think it goes down to, right, who are the people surrounding you that know, like, and trust you, right? So when you look at things from, I think, like a marketing perspective, right, when you're starting out new, it, it's cold leads, but why not go to the people who already know you and know how you're going to do business? They already trust you, and you start reaching out to them. I mean, that's that's at least what I did, right? So I made that list. It was a small list, but I made that list and just let them know, hey, I am in the real estate business, and this is what you can expect from me. So I think education is huge to let them know these are the expectations that I know I'm going to set as a business owner. Mm-hmm. And if you're you're in line with that, let's make this happen. So I think that's number one. Got it. Okay. All right. And so then they would make calls? Calls. First. Send out a letter to okay. let them know what's going on so they know, you know what brokerage you're at put in your business card. Um, obviously, social media is huge, right? I'm just dipping my toe into that a little bit. Um, even on there is just creating yeah. creating videos, letting people know what you are into now. Got it. And if they're brand new mm-hmm. to yeah. real estate, there's a lot of stress there for that person, right? Oh my Make gosh. that call because now they have to be like, um, I'm brand new. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd really love you to give me your first deal, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> my sure. first deal. Mm-hmm. How would you, like, what would you tell them to do to make it so it doesn't seem like that person's a guinea pig or what have you? Just let them know <laughs> they have a team behind them, right? So, yeah, like, that's the whole okay. thing is that while I am not going to know every situation, the people who have my back and who are going to have your back absolutely know how to help me in those situations. I think that it, again, it just goes back to, We've got to let them know that it's it's just not me, right? I think it get into this big thing where it's it's all about me, 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 and it's and it's not. You have a whole team of people behind you, right? You have the lender, you have the title, co- you have everybody who's been doing it and who's there yeah. to support you. Okay, no, no that's, that's great. It's a great answer. Appreciate it. 
Well, thank you so much for sharing all that. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add before we get to the next little segment? I don't think so. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. We've 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 covered a lot. Okay, we good. And it's been great. So, also a big shout out to our sponsor, Security Title Agency, as well as Fidelity National Home Warranty. Mm-hmm. If you haven't given them a shot, you need to. Yep. They can they can call Susan directly, right? Absolutely, Absolutely they can. They can. Yes, Susan Cunningham over at Security. All right, are you ready to get in the ring? Okay. Yes. All right, let's do it. What do you think the reason is that many agents are not successful? Oh, um, I think me personally, I feel they look at it as a me business. That, right. That's number one. And they don't look at it as a business. Yeah, yeah uh, that's, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. How about a book recommendation? Ooh, okay, so I am finishing up The Big Leap right now. And for me, that's like a game changer, right? It's it's all about pushing past the limiting beliefs that we put on ourselves. So that, that's a good one. The leap. The, the big leap. The big, big leap. Okay. The big leap. All right. Check that out. Not the small leap. Not the small leap. Big, the big leap. leap. All right. All right. How about Apple or Android? Oh, uh, Apple. All right. I have Apple products because of my Sorry, husband. Sorry, Joey. That's okay. Oh, because of your husband. Yeah. So if your husband didn't like say anything about it what would you choose <laughs> whatever is prettier <laughs> <laughs> well, that would definitely be Andrew. that's the first time we heard that one yes uh, well yeah joey's phone is kind of pretty i guess right it is pretty yes. where is it anyway show her how that thing unfolds that's crazy so it's this and then what see oh. how cool is that uh, yeah is right? that cool i would gravitate to that that yeah. is totally cool you really don't need a <laughs> tablet now since since i've had you've this, got that yeah. yeah it's big enough it is big enough yeah, yeah. they have awesome. new ones too that fold like three ways now too isn't it something yeah. that folds this way and then also folds yeah this way i don't know about i don't that. know i mean it's still pretty new the technology uh, mm-hmm. like this particular one is not waterproof yet but the one oh. that just came out though mm-hmm. um the z3 this is the z2 is waterproof so okay. it's getting better um, yeah. I mean, I'm old school. I probably wasn't the best person to ask. I still use a paper planner, people. So That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. That I, is totally cool. I have yeah. a journal, not a diary, Jeff. It's a journal that yes. I use, too. So. Mm-hmm. I don't have a diary. Mm-hmm. Why'd you say that? <laughs> not a diary. Oh, come on. Dear diary. <laughs> Dear diary. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Crazy. So what, um, as things have started to kind of, get back to you nor know, people are going out again and all that mm-hmm. what's been the most uh, what was the one thing you were looking forward to the most oh that's easy hugging my clients at oh, closing yes. i okay. tell you what i think i went into a funk when i was closing homes and i couldn't be at the closing table i go to every single signing for every client whether they're buying that's or selling great. and that was hard for me because i make a process out of it we go to signing we go to dinner i give them a hug and then it's like i'll see you when i'm giving you the keys or when you're collecting your big check you know whichever one it is Mm -hmm. so that that just that hit me hard yeah yeah that's cool yeah Yeah. that was tough back to it huh Mm -hmm. awesome Mm -hmm. anything else you have joey no i think this was a great this was a great show thank you so much for sharing thanks for having me it's been good hopefully people got some ideas for like you know pie events Mm -hmm. and you know one of the things i I did want to add was the the reason why i love your business model is because it builds um business from the inside out Mm -hmm. versus just getting a whole bunch of cold leads and you know this one is you're taking the people that know you, love you, and trust you, and you're getting them to know you, like you, love you, and trust you even more to where they want to give you business. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, That's I awesome. agree. Mm-hmm. See, right. they want to help you, right? They, they want to do. help you. You're right. And, and, I mean, I've heard people, How? What can, what can we do? What can we do to help you? Yeah. You know, so – it is. I you didn't hand them a card right then that said, fill out these five <laughs> blanks with five people's name before right, it around. Right, right, right. Oh, by Once the way. Again, by, by the way. way. <laughs> oh, by the way. I was like, oh, I can't do it. I told Susan, I was like, one time I went to do it, and I was like, don't. No. It's not genuine. Don't do it. <laughs> no. 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 That's so funny. Well, Jen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We'll have to um, tell Susan thank you so much for bringing me in. All right. All right. All right. Agents, until next time, we will see you later. See ya. All right. Good job.